hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in today's recipe i'm going to be sharing with you all how i prepare this mouth watering black tilapia fish this fish it's so delicious it tastes so good and just the thought of eating it with that sauce gives it a reality of goodness okay we are going to go ahead to prepare this fish all right all right so here is tomatoes and some bell pepper and garlic i'm going to pop it in the oven and blend it and that is paprika then spring onions i'm going to blend it together with the pepper and then seasoning cubes salt and thyme so this is vegetable oil you can use olive oil and that is the tilapia fish I'm, i've already washed it and then it's already gutted yeah so that tomato and bell pepper I will wash and then cut it into pieces and I will add it in a tray, pop it in the oven. So this tilapia fish, I'm going to be cutting it, okay, giving it some slight cut. So this way it will help the ingredients to penetrate well, all right, when I'm putting in the sauce. So I use the scissors to trim off the side, those bones by the side. And here, I've just finished cutting, giving the fish some slight cut. And I'm patting it with the kitchen towel just to make sure it is well dry before adding the ingredients so here in this pan i'm adding some vegetable oil here i will be frying the tomatoes and the bell pepper spring onions and rosemary together the one i've already blended so i just added some onions so i'll saute the onions in the oil just for a while So I'm going to go ahead to add some ginger. So I'm using this ginger paste. You can use fresh ginger. So then I just added the tomato and bell peppers have already blended and roasted in the oven so if you can see it is quite thick so i just want to fry it it's not going to take much time just about a few minutes just 10 minutes and it is ready so i'm just adding all the ingredients okay salt thyme and then um, some seasoning cube then paprika and then I'll, I'll give it a quick stir Just because the tomato is quite thick, so I'm taking my time to mix it very well. So after mixing the ingredients together i will go ahead and cover it 
and I will allow it to cook for about 10 minutes. But within the 10 minutes, I will be stirring the sauce to avoid it getting burnt. And remember to cook it on a low heat to avoid it getting burnt. So I'm checking on it again and giving it a quick stir. So after stirring, I'll cover and allow it to cook for the rest minute. And here it is. The sauce is ready. So this sauce, I'm going to use it to season the fish. So I'm going to allow it to cool down for a while, just for about five minutes. Then I will go ahead and use it to sauce the fish so i will apply it on the fish so but before then i'm going to season the fish with some salt just a little bit of salt remember the the sauce already has some salt in it and then um, some seasoning chicken seasoning cubes so yeah so i'm rubbing in the sauce on the fish Then I will set the fish aside. And then in this baking tray, I've already lined up the foil paper in it. So I'm going to be placing the fish inside the tray. So here is the fish. I'm setting it in the tray. So this is where I'm going to sauce the fish. So right now I'm adding the tomato sauce I prepared earlier on. So I'm going to apply it all over the fish, both inside every part of the fish so that the whole ingredient and the sauce will penetrate well into the fish. This will help the fish to taste very well and good. So I'll keep doing it to all the fish and then after that I'm going to cover it with the foil paper. So please friends, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button and like, share my channel. Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead to cover the fish and then pop it in the oven. Already I've heated the oven, the oven is well heated. So it is now time for me to pop in the fish in the oven. Here is the fish. It is ready and looking good. Yes, so this is how the fish is looking and well placed. So it is well presented for you guys to enjoy. This fish tastes so good, I must tell you. I hope you're going to give this recipe a try. You can use anything you have to pair it with. You can use fried yam or boiled yam. All right. So thank you so much for watching my channel and see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.